Okay, so let's deal with the missions coming in. We want to, it's a base. Okay, but we don't want to control it yet, we just want to focus. We're going to get it to its mid-course correction. Probably the time warp will be fine, but... Oh, it's not even showing its mid-course correction here. It has one! I swear. Well, we do want this to be pretty precise, because the lathe setup is finicky. And of course it wobbles. You do not seem to be doing what you promised. <laughs> okay, let me plot something else here to try and get that back to where it was supposed to be. This seems like a dangerous dual periapsis right there. Okay, well, fine. Let's do this. Mm, we'll fix it when we get there. Okay. Does this get there first, or does the station get there first? I think this gets there first, but just barely. No, I think the station actually crosses over us, doesn't it? No, oh, let's just follow them and see. Okay, it looks like the station gets there first. Okie dokie, well, we have to stop it from crashing into Jewel. Or maybe it's Leif. That destroy button. It's a miracle I haven't accidentally pressed destroy yet. That definitely seems like it's speeding us up. Okay. This side. So. Um, four meters per second. Okay, well that's just barely out of Jules atmosphere. Let's give ourselves some buffer. And how much would it take to capture around Jewel? Not a whole lot. And if we wanted to get all the way down to Leaf's orbit, that would be a thousand. How much would it take just to get into orbit around Leith? Too much. <laughs> okay, let's not do that. Alright. I think this is probably an okay plan for this. Don't see an encounter, but... Alright, so in 41 days, and a little bit less than 41 days, it will be passing by Leith and we can do that maneuver. Whoops. So it's all set. Let me see about the plane. I don't know when it's encountering Jewel, but hopefully it's within 41 days. Now the big red plane. Which should be having Leif help it out here. That is further away than I thought we were. Okay, well that captures us. And that's an okay periapsis. Okay, we'll we'll take the free capture. Okay, I'm actually gonna dump the maneuver. That's fine. <laughs> Very touchy, but fine. Okay, so that inclination wise isn't great, but we could probably correct it later. Okay, back to the station because it's going to be needing to do its thing first. This is in a hundred days. There's Jewel. Okay, this one is going to skim by Lathe. There's Lathe. And we are in Lathe SOI. Safe periapsis. We'll be meeting you again soon. Maybe we should just take that and then boost up and then have Leif do the rest. Okay, we'll have that. And then we'll do probably a correction burn there just to make the future encounter a little bit nicer. Okay, I think we can do this burn before the plane gets here. Let's keep an eye on it, that's right there. 
I that that plane is coming in really fast now. <laughs> um okay, we'll pay attention to the plane first. The correction with the station isn't critical anyway. Oh, is that capturing with Lave's help after we pass by Jewel? I didn't think that was the plan. Huh. Look, our, our periapsis is 384. That's saying that our current periapsis is 6,390. And it's only after passing by Leif that we have 384. Shouldn't it show us our current periapsis? I don't know. See, the game is really good at confusing me. Okay, we are passing by Jewel first and then getting Leif's help, which is nerve-wracking, but hopefully it'll be okay. I'd like to get Leif's help before we pass by Jewel. Well, we've totally ignored the maneuver for the other thing, but that's fine. It's in a stable situation. We'll d deal with the space plane first. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should deal with that. Uh... But anyway, this has a Kerbal on board, so it has priority. Even though the Kerbal keeps hiding. We probably can deal with the station in the time it takes for this to get in. Still the same maneuver for the station, nothing has changed about that. Nope, the maneuver node, please. Wait a second. Why does it say zero time? We we haven't passed it. Well, it's not giving me how long it's gonna take. Fine. Oh, okay, it's not tracking that at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, Val is inter <laughs> Val is interfering. Go away, Val. Okay, okay. Hopefully, that's still not too close to Val. All right. So now this can get an encounter with Lathe. Well, that's definitely an encounter, it's just not admitting it. Okay, 22 days, and then how long is that going to take to come in? It's really close. Distance from planet 219 kilometers. Come on. <laughs> Okay, that's further. Uh, I'm pretty sure the shuttle's coming in first there. Okay, I'll make a maneuver for this to try and meet up with Lathe. It actually shows me the Lathe encounter. Whoa, okay, that's crashing. Um, Alright, well that's a close periapsis and everything. Before we actually get there, we should probably correct that inclination though. Let me just tune the engine down a bit. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. And if we were to try to make orbit around here, I can't plot it right now. Okay, uh, probably if I plot it over there, but I don't trust it anyway. So, 751, we've got uh, approach to Lathe. For now, we are crashing into Lathe. It did not tell me this before, but now I know. Hopefully it doesn't take much to correct that. This inclination isn't particularly good, right? Well, we're crashing anyway. We have to correct it. We should have enough Delta V. No, nope, we obviously need to rendezvous with... It's not default name 7, is it? Cargo shuttle stack. There it is. The station. I guess that's the best we can do for now.
Well, there should be a little encounter there then. Not quite right though. Just trying to get an encounter with one station module and another around Leith. I think I'll just take three kilometers. Okay, that should still be well before the space plane comes in. But we have to do a big retro burn first. And probably... That's gonna take a while with this little guy. Up oh, there it is. It'd be nice to dock in daylight. I never put lights on these things. So there's some internal lights. What orientation is it even in? I don't have RCS on either thing. <laughs> I just realized. We're going to have to do this without RCS. I didn't put RCS on either side. Oh, jewel rise, if you will. Just turning changes our velocity vector. Stop that. Which side do you want it on? Let's just have all the engines pointed the same way. Okay, but this, this leaves us in a pickle. We gotta take the solar panels in. The fact that our velocity changes when I turn does not make me happy. I think we should probably not try this. Let's just get something else to dock them together later. Yep, yep. I was too confused by the failure of the space plane when I was designing this. Clearly. We'll have some other part to attach them together, but for now let's set them in different orbits. And then we'll tug them, tug them together later. And then we'll deal with the space plane. Space plane which needs to land there. So, can this safely land at Lathe or even capture around Lathe? I don't know. Nope, I didn't want you. Radial in. So, what would be a good periapsis? We'll take that 45. Might be too much, but we'll see. Let me save though. Alright, in we go. Let us not forget that there's a Kerbal on board, but the Kerbal snuck on board, so the Kerbal doesn't count. <laughs> we don't have to keep you safe if you snuck on board, just saying. Let that be a lesson to Kerbals. Apparently there's science happening. Crew observations. Honestly, we've had crew over here. Why couldn't they have done crew observations before? Been trying to retract those solar panels. Okay, attempting to air break here. Is somewhat different than the previous space plane, much shorter wings. Uh oh, uh oh, it's flipping, it's flipping a bit, and there's overheating up there. Okay, maybe the flipping is better for because there's overheating up there. Uh -oh. Yes. Protect the nose. It seems to be a little bit more sensitive. I guess this is a way to go. 
This doesn't bode well for the actual entry though. I might have to pump the fuel up or something. Reflew it, I, I know it's aerodynamically right and all. But, okay, well I mean as long as things don't blow up, I'm not complaining or anything. At least not on this fly through of the atmosphere. On the next one, that's a different story. Glad to see that the swerve is so tolerant. Okay, so we did capture, we got to a fairly low position. If we tried to get that down further, that's not too bad. But yeah, I guess I should look at resource manager and try and get the carbon from the back tank into, not the carbon, the hydrogen in the back tank into the front tank and maybe that'll help. Don't know for sure though. I thought that even empty this was balanced. Landing location is just emerging into daylight there. I'll go with 80-ish kilometers. Okay, well... I'd rather have daylight for most of the descent, so we'll wait a little bit. We're Our inclination is not great too, so we'll wait until that location gets around here where we will actually cross it. Unfortunately, the last time we came in we were retrograde and so it was going around the opposite direction. Don't know exactly how I should deorbit this time in comparison. Okay. I think we'll descend on this occasion. So about 135 degrees away, I am going to save and then we'll deorbit. I'll go for 25. Uh, that's probably gonna give us, uh, uh, make us go long though. Pretty clearly. Well, let's see how long. Prograde, please. We do have the Weasleys. One thing I want to see here is whether it all flips out or something. Or blows up. Could blow up. Uh, don't go up, don't go up, don't go up. You have a reaction wheel. You've got aerodynamic surfaces. Stop. Stop. Okay, 30 would be good. 30 is good. 30 is good. Let's try that. Well, maybe it is okay. I'm having trouble pushing the nose down though. Come on. Is this a reaction wheel doing something? Come on. Work with me here. Uh, it's not pitching down again. Come on. Feel like you guys need to do more. We're gonna pass it. We need to go down and try to use the engine to force the nose down. Oh, this is a bad idea. This design needs some work at least. Oh, it's doing the reverse -y thing. 
Auto switch stop. But it's methane air deprived. Okay, that's good. That's good. Do that. That's the right idea. Okay. Jet engines, please. We should not be air deprived. No, no auto switch. Cruise. The Weasleys, they have betrayed me. Where, where are we going anyway? Oh, we have to go south. Okay, well, we don't have a whole lot of choice here. Oh, we've got, we've got that coupling again. Why won't my engines turn on? Give me engine power! Methane air deprived. They don't breathe methane! Okay, good. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, no, no, no. F F5, F9. F <laughs> Please work F5 F9, please. Are they working? They're working! Okay. We're in business. Crazy thing. Okay, so we need to go there. Can I set that as a target? Set target. This doesn't fly super well though. 30 kilometers. Chase view. <laughs> oh, every time I press S, chase view goes like this. So I can't use chase view. Maybe horizon's not too bad though. This is... Everything but auto is horrible. I don't know what the weird aerodynamics were before, but it flies just fine-ish here. The rover is more on the shore than I thought. Well, uh, no crashing course, no crashing course. <laughs> oh, well... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 don't do that. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay. okay. We have a save. Let, let's try this again. I think I should do turning earlier. Yeah, it really doesn't like to turn this thing. I don't know what the stall speed of this is on lathe. Or its landing speed. Oh! Well, we better try something slower than that. Wait, technically the base part is still alive. <laughs> but I really don't want it like this. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm getting better at it, but I'm getting really tired. Okay. Oh. I'm trying to go slow, but I might hit hard if I go slow. Oh! Oh, it's just always going to be bad, isn't it? 
Why is it that the other space plane managed to land just fine, huh? Why? That was gentle, wasn't it? I feel like that was really gentle. Don't you think that was gentle? That was gentle. I think the game needs a restart before I try this again. Okay, I'm done for today. That's that's enough. I've had enough pain and suffering with that landing. I'll try again some other time and hopefully we'll get better results, but maybe it's just fundamentally flawed in a way I don't understand. And KSB2 tried to warn me ahead of time, it tried to prevent me from launching it, but alas, we did launch it. Anyway, so for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.